Hey everyone, Jade again. I am here with the next video in my faves and flops videos. And this one is all about powder, which I only have a few, but you know, why not? <laughs> anyway, the one that I pretty much used to use all the time, and I actually don't have the other one they used to use all the time, but this one is the CoverGirl Black Haste uh, Simply Powder. Found it says foundation. I don't want this foundation but anyway. It's basically just it's powder, and as you can see, it's almost empty. This one is in my emergency kit, so <laughs> if I'm out somewhere and I need to like fix my makeup or if I get like a shiny spot or something, just throw it on and fix that. Anyway, that one I used to use for like every every day, everything. I knew nothing else. <laughs> and so like now that I've started to do like videos and watch tutorials and different stuff, I have totally become a makeup snob and I'm starting to buy more and more makeup and have nowhere to put it. <laughs> so I'm ha gonna have to go buy some more like storage unit thingies, little boxes that have several drawers to accommodate for all of my makeup because like, right now I've got a five drawer system, a three drawer system, and then a big train case caboodle full of makeup and I don't get to use it all because it's all like put up and yeah anyway <laughs> moving on. The other, another one that I found that yeah, I'm kind of on the fence about it because I've never really used a translucent powder too much so I don't really I don't know, I'm kind of like sitting on the fence about it, but it's Essence All About Matte Fixing Compa uh, Compact Powder. And this is one of the translucent powders. Extremely smooth, fixing compact for a matte and natural finish all day long. Helps to blend blush and foundation colors together. Fixes makeup when applied as a finishing powder for all skin tones. Like I said, it's a clear, it's not clear, it's a white powder, but it doesn't, I mean, it goes on really sheer, um, so, I mean, I like it, um, I just don't really use it a whole lot, because honestly, I kind of forget about it, hence why I need more drawers so I can have all my stuff where I want it. The only flop that I really have, and it may just be that I got the wrong color or something, and not really sure, but... It's Revlon Color Stay pressed powder, and like the case for one is a pain in the butt to open. That's like one of their one, one of my problems with it. But that I mean that's what it looks like, and it's got the like mirror up here. But it goes on. I mean it's kind of a smooth powder, but the applicator. Oh my God, are we stuck in like the 80s? This is crap. Seriously, the edges are rough, and so like when you're like going under your eye with it, you like feel like you're cutting your eye open using the stupid thing. Not, no, Revlon, no, big no. Anyway, I think I guess that would be my like really only concern about it is the fact that I think I got the wrong color because it says light, and I don't know. Um, I might give it another shot, but I definitely will be using something else to apply it. Because that applicator is such crap. Anyway, moving right on. <laughs> the um, one that I t mentioned earlier that I used to use all the time is the Blue Compact CoverGirl one. I cannot remember what it, what it's called for the life of me. But it comes with a little sponge and it's um, in a blue oval shaped compact. That one honestly was like my other go-to all the time. If I couldn't find the black one, I'd use the blue one and vice versa. Because they were both really smooth. They went on great. They had good coverage. All that. The um, next one that I got was... I actually bought a different color and it was too orangey and too dark for me. But I'm like, nope. Gonna give it another shot because I like the powder. And so... I went and bought another one of these uh, L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder, and this one is in it says Cool, and they have these um, their their new True Match stuff is really neat because um, like you can see on the front here there are th like dots little blue dots that is not focused crap. Anyway, right below the word powder, there are colored dots. <laughs> 
and because this one is cool it's got blue dots and then they have warm which is like I think red dots or orange colored dots um, so depending on you know kind of your undertones depends on the powder and like this one actually is a creamy natural and it's true match C3 um, and honestly it's just it really and truly is a true match. I mean, no pun intended, but I love this stuff. And it is super easy to open. And it's got the makeup on the compact on top, and then you pull the bottom down, and there's a mirror and a spongy powder puff. Spongy, yes, sponge. <laughs> that is what you should be using if you're not using brushes. Because I don't like using brushes because it doesn't put it on enough of it for me. Um, so, I don't like the pow I don't like the powder puffs anymore and um, I'm not a big fan of the brushes for for powder in general but I love the sponge ones but this is my absolute favorite this is what's in my everyday makeup kit this is all I use pretty much anymore ah, don't cross the thing anyway that was the powders and uh, of my flops and faves and really and truly um, I pretty much just kind of stick with what I like. I don't like to, I don't like to venture out too far on the, like the basics, you know, blushes, powder. I mean, not blushes, but powders, uh, concealers, things like that. Because you know, kind of, I'm kind of those people that once it, when you find something that works, why mess with it? Now, when it comes to eyeshadows and lip glosses and lipsticks, I'm a lot more adventurous. But pretty much for my basics, I just kind of stick to what I know and what I like and. I mean, I do venture out because, like, buying the Revlon and buying the L'Oreal True Match were actually out of my comfort zones. Um, but I've been watching a lot of the tutorials, and some of my favorites uh, have talked about the True Match. Like, Nicole, uh, I cannot pronounce her last name, so I'm not even going to try, but I will link her down below. Uh, she's amazing. I love her. She's one of my favorites to watch because she's, she's so goofy and just a really fun to watch and she seems like she would be such a cool person to hang out with and I would love to one day hang out with her but anyway um, but she's talked about the true match foundation which I'm kind of looking forward to trying it but still kind of on the fence about it which now that I found my color it should be easier to pick a foundation because they should have a foundation that goes with this so that may be in my, the next thing I actually try but, um, so anyway, that is it for this video, so stay beautiful and ciao for now.